Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Kaisa mid lane versus Vladimir. There is a new build that I saw and it seems pretty good where it's kind of like AP Kaisa, but instead of Mermana, you go Eclipse. So you get the Eclipse for the Q Evolve and then you get to do the W Evolve stuff. And it feels pretty good because you get to uh, get all the Evolves on Kaisa since that always feels pretty nice. You could go uh, Berserker Greaves if you want the E Evolve. It's up to you. Otherwise, you could totally go Sorks or Ionian. So, playing versus a Vlad, huh? I think that one auto attack isn't going to be fully healed. Just auto attack him a couple more times. Dang, you really hovered the wall? Going against that wall is normally kind of bad, so I actually anticipate them to run away from it, because if you're hovering it, then I can't miss. So most people try to walk away from it. <clears throat> well played, though. You, you mind game me hard. This guy has Ghost Ignite. Got it. I can't auto attack him. Oh, my auto attack's not going off. Killing Vlad is such a pain. Nice detonation. We got our plasma up. Every single auto attack applies one stack of plasma. When you get five stacks of plasma, it detonates for percent missing HP. But as you can see, I took a huge amount of damage from just minions and stuff. So overall, it probably wasn't even like technically worth. It might just be a reset angle, if anything. Because uh, it just seems too difficult to kill him. Uh, we did poke him quite a bit and also uh, deny some farm, though. So we have, like, a super tiny CS advantage for ourselves. I'll just TP back immediately because uh, he doesn't have TP. So we can try to fight him now when we have better items than him. W hit the wrong thing. Oh, no, not a turret shot. I mean, we're pretty even, though, still, because we got that base off, so it's not that bad. What, why am I being pinged? Who, Bard? Bard Realm. Yeah, Bard could probably kill me with Vlad, true. No, Bard's back bot. Can't auto-attack him more. Ah, oh, it's impossible to kill you, dude. my god, dude. I took another turret shot, but that was such a good W there. You truly are 1 HP. It's not going to be enough, though. How did you not see him? That's crazy. That guy didn't even have boots. Dude, how did he? He juked the hell out of both of us. I, I don't know if I could be blamed for that. That was insane. How do you not see him when he is that slow? Oh, well, I guess. 
He also auto attacked me over the wall, which is pretty unfortunate. I hope that that doesn't influence my lane too much. I do know Kai'Sa scales very well, so I feel like I'll be okay, but I still think that was not good. Vladimir is going to be really difficult to kill. Eclipse will make it so we can trade versus him, like, not too badly, though. Because we at least get the shield when we fight him. It's starting to get to the threshold where now he just like kinda is really difficult to fight at all times. Nice, I got a plate though. TF died bot. Everybody's dying. Just chillin' mid. How much more money do I need? 700 gold, so another like three waves. Can't miss this cannon. I could be denied a caster though, I don't mind. Wait, that's through my shield? Through my shield. Really? Well played. Holy crap, I can't believe he did that through it. Oh, I guess the shield isn't that big, huh? Yeah. I mean, as I said, I, I feel like because I fell behind, it ruins everything. I, or I, like, I was worried that it could have ruined anything, and it feels like it kind of did for, like, the laning phase. But thankfully, a laning phase isn't everything. We're still doing fine farm-wise, and I know that our spike points are going to be pretty gigantic to allow us to still fight, so it could be way worse. Oh, wow, that was pretty cool. Wait, one auto. I got him. Ooh, nice try on that pull. I almost messed that up. I have Eclipse in base now. I'm back in the game. Really well played by Nunu. Vladimir doesn't have his item yet. You can hit me with that. Ouch. Alright, let's go buy our Eclipse. Sick. Now... Uh, you're not gonna have your Q evolve if you don't buy a longsword until level 10. But that's okay, because we are so damn close to level 10, I'm completely fine at waiting for it. Completely fine. What? Why is my auto attack canceling so much? Especially with Halo Blades.
Should I even fight this guy until I reach level 10? It might be better to, just to have the evolve and then start fighting and not even go for chunks. But the thing is that I get shield from Eclipse, though. Which is kind of nice. What? Are they really just looking for me? Dang, I'm not going to have Q evolve here. This is probably not a good fight. I will just die, I guess. I don't know why Nunu is fighting there, dude. He's just fighting for no reason. Yeah, we don't have mid prio until I finish the thing. I mean, TF's just saying how it should be played. And you're, you're not wrong. Nunu basically griefs. And it's kind of us griefing by even attempting to help his dumb play. It was our fault. We should have never tried helping. Well, back on to just get, getting level 10. That's all we need to do. Yep, Q Evolve is crazy. I can actually fight you now. Really well. You can see that my wave clear is also crazy too. Just press Q, whole entire wave gets cleared. As long as it's only three minions. There, there's a damage split between everything that's in your range. So because I'm hitting Vlad all on his own, it's hitting really, really hard. Um... Versus this type of team comp, I might want to go Berserker Greaves for the consistent damage. So we're going to go Nasher's Tooth and then like Shadow Flame Death Cap type deal to make it so we have uh, really good W damage. And just like damage with our passive. And then the reason that I want Berserker Greaves is because if I do get my Evolve for my E, it's going to help versus things like Viego and Garen where I can stealth. I missed the cannon. One HP. One auto! One auto! Wow, dude, I feel really strong. Good comeback, guys. <laughs> what is that guy doing? <laughs> Yo, I'm so fed now. I have all of my stacks. What a turnaround. Suddenly, dude. What a massive turnaround. They overchased Nunu so hard and we got so much done.
goodness, dude. I deal so much. I only need 700. It would be so cool if I could just stay on the map until I finish it. Okay, I use my ultimate for his flash. Sick. <laughs> I got Eclipse proc because I hit an auto attack and my Q. Even, even when I land my W, unfortunately, because we don't have the Evolve, it's still in long CD. That's why we really want to get that Nasher so we can start... Uh, spamming the hell out of it. That guy is so low. Oh, wait. They're still going hard? My bad. I thought that they were honestly going to back up. Oh, I'm on vision now. Two hundred gold is all I need. We could get it from Bot Tower, huh? Let's just go take it. I don't think they're gonna contest Dragon. Let's take Bot Tower together. I get the 200 gold and then I base. What a gigantic purchase for us. And we are fully evolved. Every single ability. I don't know how to do the cancel trick. I've tried it multiple times. Oh yeah, just emote using your dance during this. I don't know. I've tried it a billion times. It does not work ever. So now when we use our E, we stealth for like a second is all. Oh, am I dead? Nope, I managed to stall enough time. This this guy is so dead here. He has no way out. Cool. I'm glad that I was able to uh, ulti and everything away to barely survive. Karma helped. Huge play, guys. I have 10 stack Dark Seal now. So why I'm going to go Shadow Flame next is I think that there's this interaction that works where um, Shadow Flame does 20% bonus damage when they're below 35%. If they're 36% and you hit W on them, it's not going to crit because they weren't below 35%. But what's interesting is that uh, we want to get hopefully enough CDR, and I think we already have enough, where you can easily proc Plasma by landing W twice. So you land W once... The CD is very low if you land it once, and then you can land it again, and if for some reason they're below, if they're 36% when you hit that first plasma hit, and then you hit another one, the W is not going to do it, because once again, they weren't below that, but then your second skin plasma hit goes off, and that will crit. So technically, uh, it kind of bypasses that, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I guess I can just tank it, why not? It's not like he deals that much. Kill him. You can use your W while using your ult, so I just went under tower to do it. A little bit risky, because if the whole entire team was there to collapse on me immediately, I could have just instantly died. Wait, Garen is actually shitting on my top now. Not to mention I'm maybe caught. Oh my god, don't ulti me, please. Or no, they already used the ult? Oh no. Sell this. Bye. You can't sell your Dorans until level 15. If you sell your Dorans, your Q evolve goes away, so I can't sell.
Just looking to see if I can do some W hits here. Dang, I couldn't get him. Oh, I hit him with the W there. How low was Ezreal? Did I hit my W on him too? Dang it, miss. Good fight though. Got to DPS the uh, Garen a lot. Oh, dang, I wonder if that would kill. I deal a lot right now when I hit this. Oh, come on, man. Let me hit you with that. There must be healing inside a river for me to take, so I don't even need to reset. Because I don't have my item yet. I don't want to reset. They're going to Baron, but I have um, TP, so if they really commit for it, I think it's fine. Hmm. Did he see me? I think he did. So waiting for my items. I will go do Gromp, I guess, for the in the meantime. Diego's top. I'm not level 15 still. Really? You're dead. What I'll do is I'll TP top here. Buy this and then I level 15 and then my Q. You're dead. Nice try fighting me. Let me heal myself. Can we do it? How fast? Oh yeah, we, we definitely get it. Holy shit, we just did so much damage to Baron there. So death cap next most likely for just huge AP numbers. So then we can go for like massive W hits on people. I mean, we kind of already do. But I want even more. W hits for about 550. And I, I believe, I actually never found this out and I still don't know. I, I feel like the wiki is so hard to know this. But I swear, when you land plasma, uh, you're dealing that as well. So like plasma stacks is 80 plus 20 per stack. So I'm dealing like 100. But that's three times because it stacks three plasma. So it's 300 bonus. That was not even close to me losing. God, I deal a lot. That was through his uh, thingy, too. Vlad's gonna ult now. They don't have Bard ultimate anymore, so it's really awkward for them to play. Are we walking to Garen? Well, we kind of were a little bit. I'm running out of mana.
guy dies. Really, that misses. All right, this game's over for them. No, I needed to land that. I was gonna ulti off of it and like two shot this Ezreal. Dude, I can't land a W anymore. I was doing so good until now. I guess they're just not gonna engage. Oh. Okay, that did so much damage. I'm oom. I'm so dead. Yo, well played, Darius. GG. So yeah, as you can see, the build we were getting completely crushed. Um, and then we killed Vladimir one time, and for the rest of the game, it didn't even feel difficult at all. I, I deal so much damage. Uh. It feels great to play. So that is the new Kaisa build that I saw. I don't think it's very standard because a lot of people are still building Kraken. If I like look up the what people are going nowadays, the Eclipse as a first item doesn't seem that common, I think. So... No? Okay, so Kraken has 150,000 games played, and this Eclipse has 60,000 games played. But then after you go Eclipse, Eclipse is pretty normal on Kai'Sa, I'm pretty sure. I don't think everybody goes Nashers, because after that it's only 40,000, so uh, it's about like one-fourth of games, maybe. Unless like people are going like Kraken into Nashers, I don't really know. I think it's kind of something that not many people are doing yet and it seems pretty damn good, so. Why'd I honor Nunu? He was the worst, he was the most annoying person. I was just trying to get past the screen. If I was to honor somebody realistically, I probably would have honored Darius with Tilt Proof, because he was like one in seven. So I'll give it to Darius in my brain, who honored me. The Kaisa, I mean the Karma. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next commentary. As you can see, I did double the damage of the TF, who had more kills than me. So, lots. And I had less gold than him, too. So, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, before I go, I just want to see the gold chart. Okay, so the enemy team was beating us by 3.5k, and then we turned it. And there was a little bit of a throw. Red is us. So, all right. I just want to see that. All right, bye. Hey everybody, welcome to game two. We found a spider and we're trying to squish it. Unsuccessful squishing. Kane is just getting stacks, by the way, so that's why we're like running down to help him because when he gets a little bit of hits, he's getting a little bit of stacks. So he gets his form a little bit sooner. It's always good for Kane to just hit people randomly during level 1 if he can afford not being late to his jungle, since he is a uh, kind of not really that much of a champion until he finishes any form. Playing versus a Zed, it's probably going to be a pretty difficult matchup this time around. My shield is so tiny, um, so when he jumps on me, this is like one auto attack from Zed. I did a good job of juking his Q. Can I deny that one minion? Oh yeah, he missed it. So he missed one melee minion there. We're able to shove him out. He might miss this one too. Oh, dang, I can't get an auto attack off. I was hoping that if he did not miss it, at least I can get an auto. He's missing a few though. Very minor CS lead. What? No way. Huge poke. Perfect CS. Auto. 
Auto. Auto. Got the Q off. Alright, cool. Let's just pop our potion now. We might get ganked by Elise early on. My jungler is not a jungler that is very good at ganking, so I'm already pretty happy with the lane state. God, 6 to 18. If we just don't die, we're kind of ready for uh, a decent advantage in items that might influence our uh, laning phase in a significant way that I can't fall behind. Auto attack you once. Ooh, that was really close to landing. Didn't get it though. Auto attack and Q. Big poke. Once again, just denying farm. Like, I already have a CS lead, you see that? Not a CS lead, sorry, a level lead. And not th he's been here the whole laning phase. It's because I was able to... Wow, he's not 4 yet, still? Am I not going to get ganked? Like... That could have went really poorly for us if he landed that, but he didn't. 31 to 14, dude. Dang it. Eh. This is starting to be a little bit awkward now. Thirty-seven to fifteen. I'm crushing him. I hit him with that Q. Just did sixty-eight damage, but it's something. Continuing the pressure. Kane could probably dive this. I don't think he will, though. I think he's going to stick bot. So this guy doesn't have TP on Zed, so he's really just going to have to pace and just run back and miss a bunch of minions, I think. Unless he's staying right now, being low. Oh, wow, he is. It's kind of sad because uh, he's quite killable. But... Didn't take a turret shot, nice. I was worried about taking a turret shot there. Now he'll base for sure, right? I got the lead that I wanted for the early game. It's 50 CS to 21. Oh, got the cannon. I'm gonna miss this plate, huh? Huh. Oh well. That is a big top wave. Maybe I could have TP'd on that just to grab it. Alright, so he has Ignite, remember? So now is the point where it becomes more difficult because he can all in and do stuff. This is the turning point where even though I got a big lead, we could throw it very easily. You hit both of those? Time to pop one potion. Alright, cool. We hit him back. Dang it, man. One more auto plus Q would kill. How is your WCD so short? Oh yeah, you're Zed. I forgot. Oh, you missed cannon. 
That probably doesn't feel very good. It's 70 to 33. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. My the, the worst part is that when she ganked me is that I didn't think she would gank from that position because Kane was literally just there. So she ganked from a position that I thought I was safe in. Because uh, I, I didn't know she could get past Fog of War without being seen by my jungler. Made it even more spooky. If this guy uses his shadow, then he's gankable. But it's up to Kane to do it. He did use the shadow. I don't think that. Oh. Go, go, go! Oh. You know what? Maybe I could have been. You're dead. I tanked one shot for you. Did it matter? Oh, okay. You traded one for one. Sick. I think that tanking that one turret shot honestly saved him. Or, like, made it so he traded one for one. I think if I did not hit tower. Get hit by tower there, it would have not worked. So, I'm glad that it was fine in the end. I just gave up another plate? This is... The only person to blame is myself. I'm stupid, man. How am I, how am I this bad? I could have just taken the plate. I was backing away at first because I thought Elise would gank me, but as soon as I saw Elise, I should turn around and hit the tower. Dang it. My Eclipse! I could have had it done. That would have been so insane against Zed because it would have significantly helped. The shield is all I care about, not the damage. The shield from not getting hit by Zed would have been so big. Oh, nice. He did not die there. I feel like it's only because I had to ping him on his actual character, too. Just auto-attacking two times. I'm not going to commit further because uh, Elise might regank. She has level 2 boots. I don't have boots yet, so I'm super slow. Not to mention we're doing objectives, so... I should help out. Really? There's no way we ever kill her. There's no way we ever kill her. Stop! This is stupid! Like, we don't even have a wave. What, what do we do now? Now it's so awkward. <laughs> I'm missing so much. <laughs> okay, dude. Whatever. Okay, Kog'Ma Flash, guys. Huge. I guess Ash just pulled mid. I can maybe take two plates here, right? This definitely wasn't worth. But I will just take the farm. If Ash dies mid, it's really bad, so I really hope you uh, survive that. Please tell me you're not going to stop me. Don't do it, Lulu. Nasher's Tooth time. Damn. Ward, you're dead though. Ooh. Nice. Game is looking very good right now. I don't see uh, anybody that is too threatening. Q evolve. Uh, 
I barely survived because I was able to ulti away and not get it by her stun. Kane already got most of the little guys, so. That's fine, I think. I'm worth a shutdown even though I have no kills. I wonder if I should just base here. Because not being full HP and not having my ult versus Zed seems bad. But I do have Eclipse though. I think just do that and leave, I think. <laughs> my shutdown is so big. What the hell is going on, dude? Why am I being dove? I didn't die, though. My god, dude. I have done so much this game by doing nothing, which is I've been ganked by this at least so many times and none of it has worked. That's so influential in a way that normally is very difficult to see in a, in a like stat wise. Because if, like, somebody was just to tune in, it's like, 0 zero, one wow, you're just being carried? Dude, I've gotten ganked by Elise and survived four separate occasions so far, wasting her time where she could be ganking somewhere else. Pretty huge. Well played. Soraka ult. Very well played. Oh, we know the Soraka ult was for me. Who healed you? Was that redemption? Why did it feel like he got healed? Where does that mean? Maybe I'm seeing things. Uh, stealth is probably good here. I could have hit Elise and just went past her. Maybe I should have done that. I did get first turret, though. So... I guess I greeted a little bit. I didn't expect everybody to just immediately come mid though either. Our Mordekaiser is kind of invincible. If anybody ever ganks him, you can just ulti and take them to the death realm. Ultimate down for a bit. Thankfully, I have level 2 ultimate, though, so finally I have a pretty decent-sized shield when I get ganked. Man, I'm so excited for Elise to loop on me again. Almost hit him. Let's go grab blue. Ward died. Electrocute proc, I base. I'm too low. Otherwise, I could take this plant here, huh? Maybe I'll take the plant instead. I'll probably stick around with this. Kane didn't rotate all the way. I think Kane got cut off by Zed or something? I don't really know what happened there. For him to not be able to help.
Yo, you missed cannon. Alright. Nasher's Tooth is one more wave. He might be dead. Ouch. I just want to have enough for my Nashers. I don't really want to fight you. I could maybe win it just because you're chunked, but I think I would rather take the safer play of just getting my item that's important. Dragon's coming up pretty soon. There's really good TP point boards here. Oh, you're just going to take it. And she's also withered. She's not getting ran down, though. W's done. E's done. We're online. We are online. Zed. There. Dude, dang it. I mean, I wasn't worth a shutdown though, so it was a one for one, or a two for one, I should say, because at least just dead. I'll take it. Man, I should also get Zed Flash. Good play on him, in my opinion. If I just landed my initial W on her here, she would have lost her Relentless on her. I think she has Relentless on her, which is the movement speed one, and it's only out of combat, and I could have maybe escaped with my E afterwards. I was trying to use this stealth so she couldn't jump to me. It worked, though. Maybe I should have let her jump to me, and then I immediately E and run the opposite direction. Or something. I could have tried that. Are they really going to contest this? I have TP. I just feel like there's no point that they're going to do it, so I'll just go top instead. No way you guys contest. Really? You're just running in? What? I'm gonna kill myself. I'm dead. Kane dying there is so bad. Because if he stalls, then they can't just immediately focus me. But he died before he even got to be remotely useful. He didn't get to use his ult. He didn't hit anybody like a single time. He just immediately died. Pain, dude. My TP is only fine if you survive. That's so bad. Wow, we're gonna lose Baron off that too. What a throw. Well, at least we're really close to getting soul. But my god, man. <laughs> um I have not experienced that type of throw in quite a while. Oh, you didn't steal it either, dang. Unlucky, bro. That's a tilter. That's a tilter. game is uh quite difficult now I don't think I can fight this guy in a 1v1 never mind I can if I uh, land everything I had to play that beyond perfect uh, I can't just W R W. I had to land it three times. So I landed twice, and then I went in for the last one. If he ulted there sooner, my W would have never landed. I would have died. 
So we're super lucky that I managed to hit off the third one, middle. Would have never worked otherwise. Zed is way stronger than me now. Yo, she's just walking into our jungle. Dude, these stupid spiderlings are all in the way. Did she just steal it? No. I can't ult, bro. Oh, dang, we lost. Dang it, man. These spiderlings honestly are countering me so hard. Didn't realize how big of an issue this was gonna be. Just because of the spiderlings. That's a big shutdown we could have gotten. Meanwhile, Nasus has like 500 stacks at this point. Ah. So sad. I'm feeling extremely demoralized right now just because uh, my angles feel so difficult, if not impossible. If Elise is just running away, <laughs> I can't get her. <laughs> Please! Really? You didn't ulti him. He needed to ulti him there. He could have gotten the... If he killed him there, would have Zed death timer been long enough for us to do this dragon for free? No way, that's game changing. But Zed Timer might have been the perfect time where he could have came back, though. Maybe. Yo, you're walking straight into them. Dang, we're probably going to have to give it unless uh, this guy can steal it. Also, I think you lose 1v1. Yeah, he lost 1v1. I need to go defend. If Kane steals it, sick, bro. You failed. Good try, man. I don't think I can kill you anymore. Wow. Well, this was a throw of a lifetime. I haven't seen a jungle do that in a long time. These stupid spiderlings, man. Well, GG. Our team comp falls behind so fast, huh? I'm so damn slow. That, I mean, it's great that we killed everybody and all, but I still don't know if there's a way to come back. I have to go void, I think, just to be able to kill uh, the... Nasus. <clears throat> Can we even do it together? No, right? I think it's just doomed. 
Yeah, it is doomed. We can't go for it. It's not possible, dude. How many more items? Oh my god, it's so far away. No. It's going to take forever to get to this. So I can finally damage the Nasus. Come look, he's right here. Oh my god. Yo, nice. Help! Oh my god. Let's TP here. Why, Kane? Why, Kane? Why? Why did he get himself killed again? Well, I tried, dude. It was a hard fought game. So that's how you play Kaisa. And as you can see, it's possible to probably win this if it wasn't just an open Nexus. I'm getting so close to killing everybody, but they're definitely playing way better as a team than us. So anyways, hope you guys still enjoyed the commentary, even though it was a loss. I already got a win anyways, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. Uh, I think Kane is also one trick, so I wish him luck in the climb playing that champion. I think that's all he plays. Good luck with that, and I will see all of you guys in the next commentary. Farewell. Bye.